statewide field effort um, and build it early. So we started um, at the beginning of May um, and the whole point is to build a program that funnels in the volunteers that's built to last so that when we win in 2016, when we win this year, we have volunteers that are still in place in 2017 and 2018 so that we can keep the state blue. You guys have been working so hard, so it's our job to bring even more volunteers in to help you. So like Patricia said, we are setting up six offices across Atlanta Metro, an office in Athens. We're a part of the office here because of the amazing Muskogee County Democratic Party that has allowed us to set up in here. And we have an office in Augusta and Savannah and Macon. A lot of our team is in Savannah tonight uh, for their office opening. We have an office opening in Macon tomorrow, and Augusta kicks off their formal opening on Monday. Um, so it's all about electing Democrats up and down. They have been out. They have been out at festivals. They are, and we're asking them to commit to vote for Democratic values, to commit to vote for Democrats up and down the ticket, to help turn Georgia blue, to make sure we keep Donald Trump as far away from the White House as we possibly can. Right. Um, so, what we do is we ask them to sign that commit to vote card, and then we call them. And we say, you know, we've got phone banks going on this week, we are going out to Democrats to join this movement with us. And that's what we've been doing since May. And our team has collected over 15,000 commit to vote cards all across the state. And what we love about that 15,000 is 7,000 people across the state have checked the box. Many of you guys in this room say, yes, I will volunteer. So what I tell our organizers and our regional field directors every morning, it is our job to call those people and call them again and get them involved and, you know, what we've been trying at the state party, and I came on in April, we're a part of a rebuilding process because we know the state party um, has gone through many changes and ebbs and flows over the years, and we're trying to continue to push to make things better. And one of the reasons why they brought me here was because I recently left Ohio, and Ohio is, has been a part of the battleground and it's been the battleground forever. And they started a program, an early grassroots program, designed around there are no off years. So the presidential election is just as important as our mayoral elections, our city council ones, our county commissioners, they are just as important. So when we have all of the volunteers in the office in 2016, you guys probably know in presidential years, you see volunteers and people that you've never seen before and you never see them again. Um, you can't find those lists. You don't know who those people are. Our program is designed so that when it's all said and done and we win on November the 8th, that all of those folks funnel into the county committee. We have those lists. You guys have people that you can call to continue to get involved on a local level. Um, and our volunteer teams, and we, when we build up those neighborhood teams, they're going to know how to phone bank, they're going to know how to canvas, they're going to know how to organize at the grassroots level. And we want them to be able to go out with their own campaigns, to miss their own campaign, to eat their own campaigns, they want to help change the community. And work has already been here since the end. I mean, going to continue to go for So I'm just so excited to be here tonight and so excited to meet um, some of the local candidates that I have heard so much about and to really um, help to kick off this program here. We're so excited that the Hillary Clinton campaign has chose to invest in our so that we can continue a effort that is not only designed to make sure that we have the first female president, but that we elect all of the Democrats that we possibly can and that we continue to build for many years to come. So I want to take the opportunity to come up and say a few words from the Barksdale campaign because we're going to get a Democratic United States Senator as well. Um, and that's one of the amazing things. <laughs> But definitely see Sean, see Sharice, sign up for shifts, let them know when you can come back. And I know that every time I come here, I can see that it's going to be bustling with so many amazing volunteers. So thank you guys so much for coming out. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, like Amanda said, my name is uh, Dominic Perkins. I'm the statewide data director for Jim Barksdale for U.S. Senate. Um, I just want to say it's amazing to see so many people out here 
um, and to see the, the our party so well represented in this room. Uh, one of the really big and important things for our campaign is making sure that Democrats who do come out and vote vote all the way down the ballot. Um, as data director, I have to go back and look at previous election history. And one of the big issues that we see is people, uh, there's a huge drop off of voters from the presidential race down to just the second person on the ballot. So we need everybody in this room to commit to vote for the president, to commit to vote for Jim Barstow, and to commit to vote all the way down the ballot. Harry Underwood, who's here with a, with a camera, he's our, um, currently he's our field organizer uh, in Columbus. We're going to have, we have field organizers all over the state. We have people on the ground in Albany, uh, Macon, Savannah, Augusta, and throughout the metro Atlanta area, and, and in North Georgia. Um, so we're, we're really committed to getting people to come out and vote. We need as many volunteers as we can get. So if you're interested in volunteering for Jim, please come see Harry or I. Uh, I am based out of Columbus. So I'm here, I'm not, not going to be in Atlanta, so I'm here to help Harry as well. So I just, again, I want to thank you all. I want to thank you for your support for Jim. We have yard signs over here, so please feel free to grab one on your way out. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dominic. And I, I want everyone to get up and eat soon, but before we do, I want to make sure that I can pass out these um, Grow Your Democratic Ticket, because even though we are seasoned politicians, seasoned political people all the time, people will say, who's on the ballot? And when you're on the phone, sometimes you forget. So this is a handy-dandy thing that you can put on your refrigerator. Because even when I was up here, I neglected to say Sanford Bishop. And it's not because I forgot, it's just because I'm here all the time. So this is a wonderful little tool that tells you when to vote and everything else. So we will have people passing these out, but we will also have people, once again, asking for your help. We need your help. We need your phone banking help. We need you to tell your family and friends. We need to tell wherever you are in your churches, your temples, your mosques. Make sure that we are all getting out to vote and getting our friends to get out to vote, turning Georgia blue, and just making this happen. Um, I see um, Mr. Hill is here from the Chamber of Commerce. Um, just step in. So I'm going to make sure that we're not forgetting that. I also want to just um, um, actually uh, have a couple of really wonderful volunteers on um, um, raising. He's one of those things that we were one of those people we were advertising that comes in and is a super volunteer. There's a gentleman sitting right here named Patrick. Raise your hand. He is a 15 year old um, sophomore. He has already made over a thousand phone calls for Hillary. That's fantastic. And I wanted to be really this topic right here is bustling. This week we had a little call time challenge and we made over 1,100 calls. To the that is how we get things done. And we want help. And we want people to um to do the same. So once again, please, before you leave, I just cannot tell you how grateful I am to see you here. So I'm not going to talk anymore. I'm going to make sure everyone... Um, gets food, gets drink, shakes hands with their fellow Democrats, makes friends with their fellow Democrats, and let's get this show on the road. Thank you so much. Uh, I just want to say one more thing, because I know David's not going to mention it to anybody. We just had, um, the Muscogee County Young Democrats just had a meeting. We had voting for president, and David was just elected president of the Muscogee County Young Democrats. <laughs> And any time or commit to vote cards, if any of you have not signed one yet, it's for Democrats. We're gonna, we want to make sure that we know who our Democrats are. So if you have not signed them, sign one, please raise your hand and we will come and help you out with that. Say what now? I stream most of this live on Facebook. Good. She's live on Facebook. Streamed it live on Facebook. Oh, you get your own. Yeah. Right here. Get one for you. Buy one, get one for you. Buy five. Yeah, buy four, you get one for you. Fantast
So, uh, what did you think about the uh, about this uh, about uh, about your, about today? Say what now? What do you think about today? Uh, oh, you talking? No, 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 my senior thesis is on apathy and voters, right. and that was I'm 62. Like, um, uh, like, do an interview right quick? Uh, sure. Okay. All right. Um, so, yeah. all right. So, uh, so, state your name and uh, what's your I'm Ed Aguara. I'm from Waverly Hall. Wait, and I'm here to help support the Democrats to turn Georgia blue. All right. Okay, so what do you think about tonight? Uh, it was awesome. United, and we're going for it. Nice. And uh, are you planning to volunteer for uh, for uh, for the uh, for the upcoming season? Already am. I'm the vice chairman of the Harris County Democratic Party. Hi. Right. We're doing call banking and boat builder training and training other volunteers uh -huh. so that we can get as many people in contact with as many Democrats as we can. Okay. We know that if we can just up it 1.8 percent, we've got it. So, and it's a chance that'll keep going throughout our lifetime. Mm -hmm. So, do, uh, in Harris County, I know there's like. Is there something that, that the Muskogee County Democrats can do with, uh, to help you all with uh, in Harris County? Always. Uh, Always. If you have if you have extra volunteers, send a few up. We're we're starting to call back probably next week. We're starting to train our our people to to do the boat builder program so that we can update our voter rolls. One, their paperwork is filled out properly because I just found the other day that. A friend of mine was purged from the voters list because she didn't vote for the last four years. Wow. And she was purged even though she just went through all the voter suppression stuff to mm. get her paperwork together when she got her driver's license to register to vote. She was purged by our mm. Secretary of State. Wow, so, that's awesome. So, so we're, fighting, we're fighting more than one battle. More than one. But we're going to win. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. Thank you. Thank you, too. Uh, you got to get some more interviews and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Patricia, do you want to do an interview right quick? Or if you want to do an interview on live? Not right now. Right now. Right now. Really? I can't do it right now. I don't get to... Okay. All right. uh, how, how are you doing? I am fine. So I can just take a sign? Um, yeah, take a free sign and everything. Um, okay. Uh, so it's in the yard. Okay. All right. All right. Um, yeah, and I was going to try to get more interviews on Facebook because I'm doing like a live stream on Facebook of the event. So. Oh, not me. Not yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Barksdale for uh, Pops Barnes and, uh, and many other people. Yeah, so it's been like pretty busy. And I know like the website had a bit of an issue, so like. Are you doing the website for them? Is that what you're doing? Oh yeah, the web. Well, the website for the Democrats. Wow. Yeah. That's great. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. On Facebook, live. Uh, <laughs> yeah, awesome, <Anos. laughs> what are you gonna say? Oh no, just like uh, I think, uh, yeah, just uh, basically.